Now for your pinpoint weather and traffic together, and as you can see at the bottom of our screen, we do have some school delays and cancellations, some parking bans as a result of this mixed precipitation that's headed our way. Yeah, this is one of those challenging weather days because we will see changing situations depending on where you are, where you're headed, what time of day it is. I mean, we're going to see everything but the kitchen sink today. But you like a challenge. I do like a challenge. There's been a lot of them this winter already, and we've got more on the way. Seven-day future cash has busy weather pattern, but let's start out online pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Uh, we're seeing blue across most of our area right now. I actually just checked one of the observation sites uh, just over the border in Groton. They're actually reporting some freezing rain there and you can see that little area of pink working its way towards 95 in southeastern Connecticut. So the temperature is not only at the surface but also as you travel up into the uh, upper mid and upper levels of the atmosphere starting to warm up as well and that's going to help with that changeover eventually to some plain rain but it's a process getting there this morning and unfortunately the timing is kind of awful for the morning commute is because we are dealing with already some snow covered roads through the Providence metro area whether you're traveling from the West Bay or the East Bay it's snowing there uh, and as we take a look at uh, again a, a bigger picture here and I want to take you the loop over the last two hours you can see some uh, more moderate snow pushing through 95 and 295 where the area of pink and green starting to work its way up from the south coast. I'm actually concerned uh, as much with the snow accumulations this morning as with the potential for just some icing for a time later this morning and this afternoon. Uh, we are under winter weather advisory. It's basically issued when there's the threat of a wintry weather situation delaying or slowing travel, making it slippery and difficult. And that winter weather advisory goes uh, uh, stays in effect until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Winter storm warning just to our north and west. In that area, heavier snowfall amounts, but also some, uh, could see maybe quarter, half an inch of ice up there. That could lead to some down limbs and branches. Pretty messy if you have to travel outside of Rhode Island. But even in our neck of the woods, we're still dealing with temperatures in the 20s. Notice how they've warmed up to 34 on Block Island, 34 in Nantucket, and that warm-up into the 30s will eventually happen. But even when the temperatures say 32, 33 degrees, we could still be seeing uh, the rain freeze on the roadways because they are so cold, especially those untreated surfaces. So it's going to be a messy morning. Street flooding then in the afternoon, so not easy in the afternoon either. And this very active weather pattern continues. You can see from city cam, moderate snow uh, causing some reduced visibilities. It's still only 19 in Providence. Humidity obviously very high. So we see that changeover to rain happen from south to north today. And as that happens, according to perhaps an inch across much of our area, slightly higher amounts as you travel into northwest Rhode Island where we'll stay snow and sleet a little bit longer. And then the highest amounts will be uh, well inland north and west of our area where they could pick up you know, four to eight inches on average. So you can see that change over through the afternoon to plain rain. This is two o'clock. So up through one, two o'clock, northern Rhode Island could still be dealing with that wintry mix. And then rain may fall heavy at times for the evening commute. And before winding down, maybe a sprinkler or flurry tomorrow, but certainly an easier drive in. So the bus stop this morning for the kids that are headed into school, it's going to be a wintry mix, about 20 to 30 degrees between 7 and 8.30. That's a big spread, but uh, it'll warm up at the coast first and then inland as the morning goes on. By the afternoon, it should be rain most, if not all areas with temperatures into the 30s. I actually think we'll hit our high for the day later on this evening and into the first part of tonight. So kind of a two-pronged storm system here with slippery travel this morning from the wintry mix and then street flooding this afternoon from the rain. It just has nowhere to go. The storm drains are clogged and snow covered and obviously a lot of snow still on the ground. So uh, a messy travel day 40 on Wednesday. Again, drier, partly sunny, maybe just a sprinkle or a flurry. Thursday, it turns much colder. Next system, Friday, that one bears watching. Potential there for some snow and possibly a wintry mix. And then some light snow on Sunday. But even looking further down the line, it looks like there may be another one in the lineup early next work week.